Hey, welcome to Matt Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. Today we're going to play Cosmic, Cosmic Run, Run Rapid, Rapid Fire. Fire. All right. So Cosmic Run Rapid Fire is a uh, sequel, actually, to Dr. Finn's Cosmic Run, uh, designed by Dr. Steve Finn himself. Uh, for one to two players, uh, plays in about 15 to 30 minutes, and it's going to be a dice game. That's right. So, so let's uh, take it to the table, and we'll show you how it plays. Hey, welcome to the table. Here we have Cosmic Run Rapid Fire. <laughs> Cosmic Run Rapid Fire is a follow-up to Dr. Finn's game's Cosmic Run that we had done a playthrough on. I believe a solo playthrough on uh, a little while back. Uh, this is not a sequel. I don't know. Maybe a sequel. I don't know. If yeah, it's that. in the same world. Kind right. of in the same world, um, but very different. Yes. It is for one or two players. Uh, very fast-paced. Uh, completely different. I guess you'd say it's like a different flow mm -hmm. entirely. Um, and what the game's about is basically we're in the year 2456 and we're abandoning Earth through, for reasons I'm assuming, uh, some hostile alien force has blown Earth up. <laughs> so uh, each of us is representing a different faction and each faction has an armada of three different ships. And each of these ships we're sending out to three other habitable worlds. And what we're trying to do is move our ships towards these planets and actually get to the planets um, all the while avoiding mines from the aliens that are going to shut off zones and we're going to be firing and shooting at each other's ships to try to beat them uh, either into submission or beat <laughs> them to the planet one or the other. The game is going to be played over 12 rounds um, and it's going to have two phases per round. Uh, the first phase will be to roll the mine dice and that will determine which of the zones that the aliens have mined and they will sort of block them off um, but there are ways to get through them and then we'll roll the action dice and alternate turns taking one action die each and performing those actions once the action dice are all used up we switch player one and start over again for mm -hmm. 12 rounds uh, the game will end when any of us gets all three ships to the three different planets. The first one to get there ends the game. We count up points and score. Odds are you're probably going to be the one to win the game if you've done, which I think might be the win condition if you get all three of your ships there yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you're probably not going to get all three ships to these planets. Yeah. You may not end the game with three ships. Uh, the game will end if you happen to lose two ships. If two of your three ships are disabled, you immediately lose the game. Uh, if we have no more moves, if we can't move anymore, the game ends and we add up scores and count it up. And you'll see how that, that makes sense later on. And uh, throughout the game, we're going to have opportunities to upgrade different um, technologies. Mm -hmm. These technologies will help benefit us uh, in, in various ways throughout the game. Uh, we also have down here a cargo bay, which... Basically, when you get when you take a die, you have a couple of things you can do. Uh, if there's pips on it, those represent movements, movements that your ships can do by that respective color. So the green ship in the green track is going to get to move two spaces. So you're going to move from where your ship starts uh, orthogonally. So you're going to move over and then up the track to try to get to that, that planet. Um, meanwhile, there's going to be areas blocked off because of the mines. So you're going to have to use some technologies to get around that. Warp drive will let you jump through those. Um, the transformer. The transformer mm -hmm. allows you to change the color track that mm -hmm. you're going to use, either a movement or an attack die on. Yep. The uh, what's that? Navigation. One? The navigation will allow you to move diagonally. Diagonally, so you can use that um, in conjunction with a movement die mm -hmm. to move two yep. pips diagonally. Yep. And the defensive missile uh, will negate a mine attack by the aliens or a actual attack by the other player mm -hmm. so that your ships don't take damage. Ships yep. have three hit points each. Once they fill up their three hit points, they're out of the game. I think that's it. Rerolls, that's it. Reroll. So on a reroll, uh, you can actually uh, reroll a die. You can do it four times. Four times. Okay. Once you use your four rerolls, you're done for the game. Game's very fast. <laughs> uh, so you'll see how the flow goes. We'll explain more as we play, as we usually do. Um, we will have to choose the captain. The captain. The captain. So, so the captain is the last person to watch a space exploration movie. Right? Space travel, yes. Space travel movie. We both saw a space travel movie. We did, and that movie was Passengers. Passengers, yeah. A very good movie. <laughs> and we, uh, so we're going to have to pick one of us. You can go. You so can be the captain. I'll be the captain? Yes. Look at me. <laughs> I'm the captain now. <laughs> okay, captain. All right. So, captain starts. 
what do I do first? I roll the mind dice. So, uh, one's got the letters and one's got the numbers. So, at the start of each round, we roll the dice. B5. It's like B5. bingo. All right, so we're going to do X's, right? X's. So, we're going to just X out each you quadrant. Can, you can color these in, but if you're playing with somebody like me, it's like really annoying because I have to color the whole thing in. Right. It takes forever. And you do this on all three tracks. You just look for B and then five. Boop. That's it. So those are mined. You can't go through them unless you have a warp drive. And now the captain for his second phase rolls the action dice. Oh, wow. Oh, look at all those actions. I know. Lots of actions. All right. So now we alternate. I pick first and then Francis picks. So I'm going to start with blue. So I'm going to take this. And these are the just three blue pips means I can move my blue ship three spaces. And we're going to identify that by putting in dashes. So in the direction we're going. So one, two, three. So he's going to fly out and up. Okay. That's and my turn. I'll take the green pips. So he'll go out, out, out. All right. All right. I'm going to take these two green pips. So I'll go out two, one, two. Okay. And I will take these two green pips. All right. And go up. I'll take the two orange, so he's going to come out and then up. Okay, and I'll take a warp drive technology. All right. And I guess I'm going to attack you. So these are the attack dice. So I take, I get to move one pip with my blue ship, and I get to attack your blue ship one time. Okay. I will color this one in though. So don't copy my moves, please. What? So don't copy my moves. Well, I don't really have a choice. I'm going to do the same thing. You have a choice? So. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't. <Okay. laughs> like, um, I would put it in cargo, but we can't store these over right. the round, so I'm not going to. Um, so you get, your ship gets hit, I get to move one. But you're going to re-roll it. Nah. Oh, yeah, I forgot I could do that. Well, sorry. Very marked it. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> okay, so that's round one. I will put an X on my round one. Oh, yeah. These are like a la Minesweeper. Kind of, yes. They remind me of mine, Sweeper. I believe you are the captain now. I'm the captain now. Okay. All right. All right. All right, Capitan. All right. C6. C9? C... Oh, no. Is it six or nine? There's no nine. Oh, there's no nine. <laughs> I was like, what? C6. Hit. Oh, this is not good. C6. Yeah, this board's going to fill up quick. Yeah, this is not. Good. All right, so here you go. Here's all the action dice. Thank you. Oh. All right, we got some stuff. Yep. I will take this one. I have three. Okay. One, two, three. I'll take this blue one. Mm -hmm. Move two. One, two. Okay. I'm going to take this orange one and move two. Mm -hmm. Now check on your um, blue ship. Mm -hmm. I think you're on the fifth row, right? Yes. Okay, so you're technically high, like five higher than your green ship, isn't that right? I would say, yeah, because he's on row okay. one. So you can't move your blue ship anymore right. so until you move your green. Explain the armada rules. Okay, so this is your your sheep, your sheep. My your sheep. sheep fillet. <laughs> your ship fleet. So now we're playing a new Rosenberg game? <laughs> is that it? <laughs> your, your fleet of ships is an armada. So there's the armada rule, mm -hmm. which states that if you are, um, your ships basically have to be close to each other so you don't want this one kind of like getting away from all the rest um, so in Anthony's case his blue ship is really kind of taking off ahead of his other you know in this case both ships but primarily this green one is one we're worried about because the green one's kind of like still back at I don't know earth or wherever it is mm -hmm. um, if you are if you're you can't be more than five uh, like levels I guess away from right. your lowest ship so he can, at this point, continue to move his orange and his green ships, uh, but he can't move his blue until he gets that lowest ship that's giving him that difference of five mm. up a little bit. So luckily for you, there's lots of green action days. There is. So I'm going to take the, uh, 
the defensive missile. <laughs> okay. And this will be the one that allows me to negate an attack. Nice. If I choose to use it. Mm. If you so choose. If I so choose. Um. Uh. Um, let's see what I want to do here. I might take, I'm going to take this die, mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to store it in my cargo. Okay. I guess I'll move my green ship on two. Your green ship lollipop. Mm-hmm. And I will also take a green, and I'll put that in my cargo ship too. So since I have two dice in my cargo ship, I can upgrade any one of these technologies that I want. Your cargo bay, yes. My cargo bay. <laughs> Why can't it be a ship? I don't know. Um, I it probably it's... is a ship if it's out in space with them, right? Well, I guess. Or is it like on one of their ships? I think it's on one of the ships. All right, and I'm going to take this missile defense mechanism here. All right, and I'll take the final green movement, and now my green ship is back in business. Back in business. All right, that was right. round two. Cool. Moving on to round three. A6. 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 <laughs> A good sneaker. Yes. A. Oh, this isn't. Why do we keep rolling sixes and stuff? This isn't good. No, I'm going to block that whole row off. I know. All right, so let's see. Ooh. Mm. Wow. Okay. I'm going to take the orange ship three one two three he's gonna make a a cosmic run for it he's making he really is making such a cosmic run oh man um all right i'm gonna take this guy Ooh. transmorg transmorgification yeah <laughs> i'm gonna take this green double movement to get him up past that mine zone all my ships are exactly even. That's good. Yeah. Mine are pretty even too. They're just not as far as yours. All right. Oh, <laughs> righty then. Um, hmm. I'll take this technology. Hmm. I'll take this into my cargo bay. Into your cargo bay. I'm going to take this and. What do I want to do with it? I'd like to use it to move, but I don't really want to blow you up. You can. It's okay. It's okay. Um, Have at it. Well, then you'll feel compelled to blow me up, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm going to re-roll it. Oh, you can use one of your re-rolls. Uh, I think. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, oh. so you're going to blow right. up a different ship. so now ship. I'm going to blow up your other ship. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'll blow, blow up your ship, I guess. All right, well, I'm going to use my missile to defend that. Okay. But I get to move one, too, because there's like a pip. So now we just color the circle in to show that it was used. Because you're still going to score the technology. I just can't use it anymore. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm going to take this other mm -hmm. orange. No, I'll take this mine die. Mm -hmm. And I will use it to get a second missile. Nice. That's good. I like those defense missiles. Yeah. That's All right. Good. Last one's yours. Um, oh, and I used a reroll, so I have to. You have to X one of those out. All right. All right. So I guess I'll hit your orange ship. All right. That one can take a hit. That's fine. Okay. All right. You. I'm the captain. Or the captain now. I'm the captain now. All right. Ready? Yep. B5. B5. Oh, we already have B5. Oh, perfect. So we cool. can ignore it. We ignore Excellent. it. They mine the nice same Nice try, zone. aliens. Sorry. Not sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, that That's pretty good. I will take this. Of course you will. <laughs> I'm going to take One, this two. navigation technology. Okay. I gotta move my green ship up past the blast zone. Hmm. Turn. 
I'm going to take this and move one blue. And attack my ship? And attack your ship. All right, I'm going to use one of my defense missiles. Okay. Can't let you store those up. What? You're crazy. I need, like, a better marker for this. It looks so scribbly. Okay. Um... I'm going to take this and store it here. Hmm. That's a good move. That's a good move. <laughs> I think I'm going to do something similar. I'll store this one. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to store this. And I'll store this. And I will upgrade. Hmm. I think I'll take one of these guys, actually. My navvies. All right, I took the uh, warp drive. All right, I'm the captain now. C2. C2. That's a new one. That's, that's a new one. All right. Oh, that's fine. They can blast C2 as much as they want. Can oh, they? no, they can't, because I have a ship there. Uh, no, as long as you're past it. I'm not past it. I'm oh, on it. you're on it? So... All right, so here's how this works. Um, oh, that's terrible. Well, yeah, it is kind of terrible. But I have some options. So what happens, so my ship is here on C2, and they just blew it up. I can either take the hit, which means I need to take a hit and move back, or I can defend against it, which is what I'm going to do. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and ignore it. Now, what I, what I don't know yeah. is whether you ignore it across the board or you just ignore it for that ship. That's a good question. Yeah, yes. so I can, I ignore it across the whole thing. Right. But I already filled that one in. Where, C2? This, I'm just gonna like write myself a note. <laughs> like J slash K. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. And then this one, I'm already past it, so I'll just- It really doesn't like, matter. It doesn't really yeah. matter, I guess, and I'll just ignore that one. Okay. And I use my defensive and missile. And use your defensive missile. You are out of defensive missiles now. For now. For now. Only All right. Now. That was C2. Okay. Yeah, otherwise your ship takes a hit and you have to move to your previous, yeah. move, your and next honestly, closest I'm space. And I'm more concerned about that ship taking a hit. Oh, nice. Get anything good? Yeah, there's some good stuff here. Actually, I'm going to take... Oh, we are in round four. four three. Right? We just did round three. Oh round yeah. Three. Oh, this is round four? Yeah. Oh, I gotta roll the bomb dice again. Yeah. The mine dice twice this time. A2. So let, look at it first before you don't yeah. have a defense. Yeah, A2. Yeah, I can't A2, like two against A2, it anyway. A2. I'll do it. A2. Oh no, A2 is gonna hit my guy. So I'm gonna use my missile. I'll ignore this. Okay. Defensive missiles will shoot down those mines. I'm just going to ignore A2. So you want to look at it all before you start mm -hmm. marking, if you can avoid it. All right, so I already rolled. Um, yeah, let me cross out round four so I know we're done here. Um, I'm yeah. going to take this three blues, right? Okay. But I'm blocked by one of these. Yeah. So I'm going to use this technology to warp over one. And for every time I use this, I can warp over one. Mine. Mine. So that's one, two, three. Yep. Great. That is just great. Um, what do we have for movement? Two and one? Not much. No much. Hmm. I'm gonna take these two blue. All right, I'll take this warp technology, warp drive. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna take this warp. All right, I'll take this mine and put it in my cargo bay. I will take this and put it in my cargo bay. I'll do the same, and I'll get... And I'll do the same. Yes, yep, I'm doing <laughs> exactly the same thing. 
All right, go to the captain. Two rolls now. Two buttermilk biscuits. All right. A6. A6. We did A6 already. We did. Yep, A6. so we can ignore that roll. All right, let's roll again. Mm-hmm. C2. C2. And we did that, didn't we? Yeah. We did. We already did C. I have C2 marked off, yes. Two. Do you? C2. Oh, so we did it. That's the one that I marked it, off but canceled out or whatever? Yeah. So luckily I moved my blue ship last so time. So now you I'm can fine, actually but, take it. But now this is like a real hit, so I'll just cross that out. Ugh, I don't know. I hate scribbling all over this. Okay. All right. Um, we'll cross this out. Okay. Action dice. I'm getting close. Ooh. Mm. That's a good one. Watch your blue ship. I don't know if you can move that much more. Um. How far ahead are you? Let's see. I have a ship at one, two, three, four, five, and the blue ship is at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He can move one more space up. Okay. All the same levels. So that's good. Um, all right, I'm gonna take this, mm. and I'm gonna use one of my warp guys to mm-hmm. go through this minefield. And that'll be three. So one, two, three. All right, I'm gonna take this two orange. And get this guy moving up that track. Ooh. I just drew on myself. <laughs> okay. Um, and I will take hmm. I'm gonna take this green and move him up one. Okay, yep. Yeah. Um I'll take this green and move mine up one as well. Are you attacking my ship? Yeah. Really? Um, I guess I'll, I'll take the hit. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to take the hit. No, I mean, it, you have three. It's, it's so quick. It's not really yeah. like the end of the world or anything. I mean, I guess technically it is the end of the world. It is the end of the world. <laughs> Indeed All it is. All right, so... Um, right here, I'm going to take this one, and I'll move mine up one, and you get a hit on your blue. You hit my blue? Mm-hmm. But you're almost to the top, so why yeah, don't you use that? Uh, here, the thing is, once you make it to the top, yeah, true. you can't I, I, get hit anymore. He's one, two, I can move up two more spaces on him, so I'll, I'll move up. What are you doing? No, I'll, I'll take the hit, rather. <laughs> Ship up for because I'm gonna take Are you this. Gonna take that? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I took my move. All right. Your go. Um. One of those. I guess I'll take this guy. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. Your turn. I'm gonna do a re-roll on this one. Okay. One green. That's not bad. All right, so I'm gonna move him here. Using your using my navigation. Navigation. So I can move him diagonal because I couldn't go up. Mm-hmm. All right, so he's out there in the middle now. So that's it. Okay. Um, that ends that round, right? We didn't mark it off. I yet, don't did remember. We? I don't think we did. I thought I marked mine off. Really? Uh, maybe I didn't. I don't know. That was our third round of double rolls, I thought. Okay. It probably was. Yeah. I'm the worst at marking these things. So. so you're up. We're on three rolls now for the mines. I'm up? You're the captain now. I thought I was the captain last time. Pretty sure I just rolled. No, because I rolled the C2. Oh, okay. Are you sure about that? Yeah, because both my rolls were rolls we had done already. B1. B1. Oh, that's bad. Is that bad? Maybe. That's not bad there. B1, B1, B1. Yeah, I can handle B1. that. Can you handle that? I can handle that. B1. Right, I'm going to cross it out now. B3. So B3. Maybe B3. 
three. B three. B three. B three. I'll B3. do it. Okay. Three. 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 My green zone is getting bad. <laughs> C five. Jeez, you C5. rolled all like new ones. C five. I know. C five. C five. C five. Yeah, I'll do that. Lucky. That's tough. So I'm crossing this out right now. What's that? This yeah, I did as well. Just rolled. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, roll the action dice. Five. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I like that. Let's see, where am I here? I've got one, two, three, four. I can only move him up like one more. Mm. Yeah, these guys are, I need to work on these both. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this orange guy mm -hmm. and move him up one. All right. So at least he's at that. I'm gonna take four. this blue guy and move him up here. Mm, are you? Yeah, because I'm one, two, three, four, five away, and one, two, three, four, five away. These are on the same level. Here, I'm that diagonal one. Oh yeah, you are the diagonal. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. What am I gonna do? So I need to move this before I can move this guy, is that right? Well, you're there, right? He's, you are one, two, three, four. You can move him one more to go five away. Yeah. Yeah, but you need to blue up. You need to go green up one more in order mm -hmm. to put five on the planet. Right. I just don't know what I need. I mean, I know what I need, but... Alright, I'm gonna take this orange one and I'm gonna re-roll it. Okay. So I use my second re-roll. Oops, it's a green one. Did I? I messed that up. Oh, okay. That's exactly what you need. So I can take that, right? So I'm going to use my navigation mm -hmm. and move this way. Okay. Wow, that's a tough. It like blocked your whole path off. I know exactly. Um, well, plus we had no like green movement, so. I'm going to do a reroll as well on this guy. Okay. Two orange. Yeah, I can move him. One, two. Cool. I'll take this guy, I guess. Actually, I'll take this guy. Because okay. I'm going to use one movement. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to blow up your ship, but you're already there. So you don't take a hit It doesn't for that. hurt me. I'm yep. already landed. Hmm. I'll take this guy and put it in my cargo bay. Actually, no. I should take him and... You should use him. Use him for the points. Yeah. Alright, and I'll take this guy and move up my ship. Oops. Oh, darn it. What'd you do? I put an X. I guess I'll just fill it in. Okay. 
I um, can't really see it. There. Not much I can do with this die. What are you going to do? It's a blue one, and mm -hmm. I can't move blue anymore. You could re-roll. I could, but it's like my third re-roll. I know. Hopefully I get another card. All right, there I can go. move him up. That one. works. Mm. Nice. That'll work. All right, so now it's my captain -ness. Your captain roll. Yeah. Captain roll. So I get three rolls. Man, this is getting crazy. C3. 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 Oh, this one doesn't matter anymore. Nope. C3. I'll take it. That's one. C2. We already had C2. Like yep. a couple times. Yeah. We do. C4. Four, we have C4. C4. We don't have C4. We don't? Oh, we don't. C4, C4, C4. 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 Yeah, I'll take C4. Yeah. All right. Now I'll roll the action dice and uh, cross out that round so that mm -hmm. we know it's done. Okay. Okay, action dice. Whoa. Mm, my goodness. That's a lot of actions. It is. Um, dang it. Okay, I'll take this guy. Okay. And upgrade my navigation. And I will take this guy. Two spots. Hmm. I'll take green. Mm. I will take the orange. Hmm. I'll take this orange. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna use your navy? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to blow up my ship? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you betcha. All right. Here we go. Um, hmm. Guess I'll take this guy. All right. I'll take him. Or do I want him? Oh, these are both bad. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I don't want either of these dice. Because these are all blue moves, so it's not worth a reroll. So I can do it and just not move. Okay. And I will take this. See, at least yours had um, other powers on it, though. Mm. Like, it had, like, Transformer and stuff. I'm not going to reroll this. There's, like, literally nothing I can use on it. Okay. All so right. that's the round. You roll. Okay. We're getting real close here. We are. B9. No, there's B6. B9. <laughs> Oh, I can't Ooh. take that one. I'm going to use a B6, missile on that. B6, B6. Yeah. I can take that hit. I'm shooting that down. Because I've got some stuff to get me out of the way of that. B6. Okay. Let's roll number one. A6. We already have. Yeah, we do. That's A6. A6. A2. 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 I think we've already hit A2. 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 No, we haven't. A2. Yeah, you must have defended against it. I must have blocked it, it yeah. yeah. A2. A2. Oh, two is going to hit my ship. Uh oh, what are you going to do? I'm going to have to take a hit on mm -hmm. my green. So that is X'd out, and I'm back down to here. Well, that <sighs> stinks. Yeah, that sucks. All right. I need that green, but I don't like want to hit you. Oh, let's are we cross this out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take this, but I'm gonna re-roll it. Okay. So that I don't have to hit your ship. Well, that's nice of you. I know. I'm don't very roll nice. it in the bin okay. if you don't mind. Oh. Oh, you're gonna hit my ship anyway. Sorry. Not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Um, and I'll just use my... What do I want to use? I guess my warp drive. Like, I have to. My warp uh, drive. You only have one movement, so you can't warp onto the... Stop, really? Yeah. You're going to have to go around it. I can't. Oh, then you need to roll a two. But I already re-rolled it. Mm -hmm. I guess I can just store it mm -hmm. then. Just store it. So, forget about that. Because I'm not... Hitting you because oh, okay. I'm not taking the move. You know what I mean? You're gonna get there anyway, but 
Yeah, I'll just take that was dumb. this and move him in to the end. To then. the end. All right. So I'm still safe to move my mm -hmm. orange. Okay. So I'll take this and then I'll use my one, two. I'll use my warp drive. To get him in there. To get him in there. All right. I will take the missile and upgrade my defensive missile technologies. So my ships don't keep getting blown up. I just got to get green in there. I know. Not a lot of green pips out there. There's not. I think that's it's like the most challenging track, actually. Well, I would say, yeah, that's why it's worth the most points, right? You know. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, I'm going to do something a little bit crazy. Hmm. Um, I'm going to take this blue too mm -hmm. but i'm going to use my transformer mm, and turn okay. it into green all right and i'm here mm -hmm. so i'm going to use my navigation mm -hmm. and go one two are we cool with that yeah it's fine i'll take this mine and store it And I will take mm, doesn't really matter. I'll take this mine and store it as well. And I will store this. And I'm gonna take another diagonal move. I'm gonna take a transformer. You like that, right? Yeah, I think I need to. Alright, so my turn. Mm -hmm. Mine turn. Mine turn. A three. A three. Well, it's only one track that matters. Oh, that's right. Ooh, that's bad. That blocks everything. Oh gosh, that sucks. I'll take it though. I don't want to use my defense. All right. C two. Hold on. Take I'm still marking off A three. C two. You don't have to mark the other tracks. Well, I know, but I like to start consistency. C two again. So okay. we're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, that's Man, a lot that's of nothing. Lot of nothing there. Um, all right, I'm going to use, take this one, transform it into an orange. Mm -hmm. uh, not an orange, a green. Transform it to a green. Go one, two, using my warp drive. Okay. All right, and I'm going to take this green. And my diagonal navigation. Mm -hmm. and go here. All right, I'll take this green and go here. Oh, right. Two more rounds. We might not make it. We might not make it. Um, I'm trying to like look at what else is on these dice. <laughs> <laughs> I have one reroll left that I can take. You can't really see them. Okay. Um, Just gonna take this and store it. All right, I'm gonna take this and re-roll it with my final re-roll for all the marbles. Oh, that's that's not good, a bad though. Roll. Not a bad roll at all. I like that. I'll take it. I will take. Nothing I can do with that one. And I'll store that. And I'll take. Do I want to? I don't want a direction with this thing. All right. All right. You're up, 11. Captain. 
I thought I just rolled it. I just oh, rolled it. Yeah, yeah captain? you're the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> we need like like we need yeah, a captain we piece. Yeah, we, we should have used something. Alright, A four. Alright, just one track I'm gonna take care of here. Bless. Boom. Alright. A1. Mmm, stakes on. <gasps> well, that's my ship. That's my ship. Defense. Wait, you're an A1 too? Yeah, defense. Defense, defense. Defense Missiles. is so high. All right. Oh, I marked that off. I guess I didn't need to. A4, okay. I need to roll one more time. Mm-hmm. Ugh. What's the chances of getting like that one mm. thing? A4. A4. Done. Which we just rolled. Okay. All right, so cross that round off. I guess the chances are actually pretty good. They are pretty good. Yeah. All right, roll the actions. Bring the Bring action. the action. Yes. <laughs> Bam. That's exactly what I needed. I'm doing this, and I'm going to use my warp drive. And I'm going to go here. I think that ends the game. Done. Yeah, as soon as somebody enters. I have acquired all three planets. You have. Just ahead of me. Yep. All right, let's get ready to tally it up. All right, so since you reached the planet, the third planet first, you technically win. Yes. Automatic. Okay. So, but you want to score just to I show how scoring I want to score just to show right? how it works. So. So let's go. First thing we do. It's like a sum of the parts. Yeah, and it, sh it really is up here. This part up here is for scoring. So mm -hmm. you just count up. Your technologies and each planet track, right? So let's see, four, five, six, seven. Okay, twelve. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Oh seven. no! You count these. You only count the like. You oh. get like one point, two points, three points, like that. Oh. Like Twenty-two points. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, I got eleven points. Okay. 11. I want to count them all. I want to count all the points. All so right, you so get points for each yeah, planet. 15, right? 20, and my furthest track that scores is 10. Oh, so that's like pretty much why you automatically win, I think. Yeah. You just get so many points. 15, 35, 60, 72. Right? 72 to my 56. And that's yeah. about 15, 16 point yeah. difference of the final because planet. Because of that, yeah. Yep. That's why you, you're, you're going to win by right, points exactly. if you make all three planets. So okay. there yeah, you go. Yeah, it's very easy to score, though. Yeah, very easy to so, score, very quick. Well, let's go talk about it. All right. All right, there you have it. Cosmic Run Rapid Fire. I got to all the planets. You did. You made it first. I did. It was close, though. It was very close. Very, very yeah. close. It's very quick. Yeah, very quick. Yeah, which is good. Yeah. Because I think that's what it aims to do. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. So, all right, let's, like, uh, let's talk about let's it. Let's talk about Cosmic Run. Yeah. So talk about um, replayability. Uh, I think there's tons, tons here. Mm -hmm. uh, with the, the variable minefield, right, with the dice mechanics, I think with yes. any type of dice game you're going to have this, this uh, embedded variability, just because right. you've got the randomness of dice. Um, and there's no real like mitigation, so to speak, of the mines, because unless you block well, it with the missiles, but yeah. you're not, you can't tell what's coming up. Because right. say you roll that and then you know, the next one rolls and it's another bad one. Like yeah. you're still, you can only do so much. To, to present to yeah. prevent it, but I think that's going to change. It's going to change your routes as well, mm -hmm. and the dice rolls of the different color ship movements is going to change the way you know you move your along each of the tracks. So right. I mean, there's a lot there. Okay, great. Um, what about wheat? It's a super light game. Yeah, it's very easy. Super super light. Um, yeah, very easy to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, the rules are, are pretty straightforward. You yeah, know, I would say so. We've looked through. I mean, they've they've been tweaked. A number of times recently, we've right. seen multiple versions of the rules. But I think the final the final rules that we've got are pretty. They're solid. Pretty solid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They've gotten they've cleared up a lot of uh, sort of questions. Well, we I have. appreciate the tweaking because mm -hmm. I think that there are certainly games where the rules are ambiguous and probably could have been tweaked right. a little bit better. Yeah. But um, but these are fantastic. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah, yeah they're very, very, very easy very to understand. Clear. Yep. Um, what about the component quality? Now this is a prototype. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, but thinking prototype. about. Um, where you see the quality going yeah. and just from a, I mean, this is a, one of the first games we've played in a while that's like a paper and pencil kind of. Yeah, yeah, so this. Things. Maybe we can talk about that a little bit. I guess that seems to be like the the trend right now, considering yeah. La, La Granja 
No Siesta that just came out. So that's another mm -hmm. dice game with these papers that you mark on with, with pencil. I guess what it comes down to is that if you had to put like little tokens or chips on each of these spots, yeah. you'd, have, you'd have to have like a million tokens and they would be all over the They'd place, right? Everywhere. So the only real solution to this is, you know, writing on the pads, which, you know, take it or leave it for some people, but I'm fine with it, I think, you know, I mean, it's... It reminds me of taking like a test. I know, you, it gives you the, that yeah. weird Scantron feeling. Yeah, you're I know. coloring I in the like circles. You color them in all the way, or like I won't get the points or something. Yeah, yeah. well, you got the points. You definitely got You just need the like points. that little. I feel like they should have like a little pen. That you could stamp. That you could just stamp. Like we're so, playing bingo. Yeah. And then you just do it. So maybe developers think about that. <laughs> yeah. No, I was all fine right. with it. I'm okay yeah, with the pen though. and, and no, color, filling it in. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh. What about the theme? You love space. Yeah, so um, as you saw, like this is Cosmic Run, the original. Like what this game is based on in the same universe. And I'm not, I mean, you, you called it a sequel in the beginning. I'm not really sure it's a sequel. Okay. Uh, more or less a standalone, just um, follow up mm -hmm. title in this, in the Cosmic Run universe, which is great because I, I mean, I like space games. This definitely has that sort of you, you're racing against the other player. Uh, there's a, a handful of variants that he's already put in. Uh, to the rules yes, that, yeah. that make for a quicker game, uh, friendlier a less game. friendlier game. Yeah. Like there's a bunch of different variants. Um, so we played with the standard variant. Um, so and I think that's usually what we kind of stick to. Right, just to give you an idea of how it plays. Yeah, and I think for. we probably could have been more a little more cutthroat if we, we wanted been. to be. I don't I actually don't think that we displayed how to do the mine action on each other. Well, Which no, we did. I did the mine did, on did, you. Did, yeah, because oh, remember it, it hits just yeah. your card. Right. And I remember I, you could. Um, I, I thought I sure. did. I don't. I think we might have been another time we played. We played this a number of times, but yeah. basically, if I didn't show it, you just you you choose a letter mm -hmm. that you want, and then you roll the number die, and that's right. what mine fields are going to get hit on the other player's board, not yours. Which I also kind of like because there's it's like it's take thatty, but there's also some chance in there. Yeah. So it's not like Anthony can be like, well, I'm scoping out your ship and I'm blowing you up. I'm going like, to blow right up this on ship. this ship. Yeah. Um. You you kind of you know take your chances mm -hmm. on your opponent so no but i think yeah, now that i think back i probably should have blown up one of your ships probably because that, that might have got me the game yeah so oh, but yes. you know you can be <laughs> as, as cutthroat as you want yeah and we're i mean we're not like that when we play we kind of like to build our own engines but right. this game doesn't force you to do that yeah which is cool i mean right. and if you decide not to do it you may not score the most points mm -hmm. uh, but then again like i said there's variance yeah um so what about the fun factor that's a fun, i actually like it a lot yeah, yeah it's definitely it's a solid game and uh, it's it's and fun yeah it's very quick and fun and i think it's right up there with like with all of dr finn's games like they've yeah, all right. been you know just they're they're fun they're, they're no, no bones about it they're fun games the qualities is is there um, the art in this, you know, it, it's pulled from Cosmic Run, and which I thought had good art anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so, no, I'm really good. I like it. I like it a lot. And yeah. it's, it's so super small footprint-wise. Yeah, like, this is a game, say. like, you could take with you on the go. And that's, a lot of people enjoy that because they mm -hmm. want to, you know, they want a game on the fly. So, you know, if you want to bring this out at lunchtime, you, could, you yeah, could easily do definitely. that, get through a game, probably get through two games, um, no problem. And I know the other uh, side of these sheets is going to be a uh, different setup of numbers. So that in itself will add more variant mm -hmm. variability to this game, which we didn't see because again, this is a prototype. Right. Um, but you know, it's got, it's got a lot going for it. Yeah. Yeah, it certainly does. Um, so along those same lines, the setup, I think it's pretty easy. Oh there's yeah, like there's really nothing to do. Yeah, you honestly don't have to do anything to set this game up, but pull your yeah. pads out and then roll dice. Right. Like that's it's that simple. Okay. So cool. Um, who would you say this is for? I think anybody could play this game, mm -hmm. and as long as you get right, you know, like yeah. obviously not a child that's not at the age where they're able to. There's like scribbling everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anybody who you know who, mm -hmm. you know, you could. Do, I mean, young kids could certainly play this. It's not. It's yeah. not overly complex. I would say probably the most complex part about it is making sure your ships stick together. Yeah. So that you have that like armada rule. <laughs> yeah, so you, you adhere and to the you, armada rule. You do have to make sure that, you know, you're within a certain number from your other ships and stuff, but yeah. that's probably the most difficult part. That's it. I mean, yeah. Otherwise, you're just racing for, for the planets. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah, really enjoyed All this right. one. Anything else you want to say? No, so this is, um, you know, uh, this is on Kickstarter now, so I'd say if, if you were into Cosmic Run, you like uh, dice games, uh, you like space theme, this this hits it for me. I mean, this is really simple. It's very light, and if you're looking for a light, quick game, 
Dr. Finn, he puts out quality games. You know, he always comes through on his Kickstarter. So, I mean, I, I have nothing but full faith in, in, yeah. in you know, supporting uh, his game. So, uh, that's really it. Yeah. So, if you want to, if you like it, go check it out. Go, I mean, like with any Kickstarter, you know, it's, it's really in your, it's in your court whether or not you choose to, to back these, mm-hmm. and, you know, put your money out there in, in the hopes of getting them fulfilled. But if you base it on track record, this one, you know, you should do it with pretty high level of confidence. So, um, but there it is. That's the playthrough. All right. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Okay. All right. See ya. See you later.